listen. Dewey so in the building. Hoodie so in the building. Gazer. Gazer. In the building. So Luminati, give me one more chance. In the building, man. Sample. Gazer. Gazer. In the building. First thing first. Was good with joy, chunk. Boys. Hey, man. Now, check this out. First thing, this video is not about Blueface. It's not about, obviously, Blueface, but this is where I heard this shit from. Now, first thing first. Now, let, let me tell y'all. Let me get this off the screen real quick. Because my mind all over the place. And I put this hoodie on simply for this video, my nigga. Simple. Dude, got, grab this bitch out the, out the boxes. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a rapper. Now, first thing first. Let me get this shit off the screen. All right. Well, wrong one. Where that shit at? Here it go. Now, first thing first. Listen to me, y'all. I got a lot on my mind right now. Let me pause for this for, for this bot real quick. And by the way, I'm not about to be on no super negative shit. I have no problem with this bot, my nigga. In any type of way, shape, or form. I don't. Don't care, nigga. I'm on a high, I'm on a whole nother frequency, my nigga. I'm on a whole nother vibration. It's a bot, my nigga. But first thing first, bro. Speaking of y'all, speaking of y'all rapping niggas, bro. I listen. I still, I've been thinking like, bro, if I was Tory Lanez, I've been thinking, bro, I would have shot the bitch, I would have shot the bitch too, my nigga. Bro, Tory Lanez is a five foot two. The nigga's like a four foot 11 raw prospect with the smallest arms. The nigga like these. Am I lying? Like all jokes aside right now, because I'm talking about some serious shit. Bro, I would have shot the, bro, Megan Thee Stallion is a, bro, a, a six foot 10 glass lock, my nigga, with all the Hall of Fame badges. We ain't even heard the side. She was probably beating this nigga. We ain't even heard his side yet. He ain't even. It's either the nigga getting cloned or he got his ass. He got his ass beat. I look two warning shots to the foot, bro. She was hot, bro. Listen, how the hell you get shot in the foot and still walking when the pole? Look, I would. They would have had to get a stretcher, bro. You shoot me in my leg, I can't walk. So check this out, y'all. So check this out, y'all. So first thing first. Hold on, let me click on this fucking beard real quick. So first thing first. Let me get this off the screen, y'all. Listen, I just I just went out, bro. Listen. That hoodie made me hot as fuck. I'm not used to being under this light and all this shit no more. I'm used to being under the sun. Geyser! What? Geyser! In the building. I had to take that shit off. I had to change my do rag. My do rag got superpowers, bro. Dead ass. I think different. I'm more relaxed when I wear red for some reason. Got something to do with my chakras or something. I don't know. I'm tapped in. But listen to me, y'all. So I had to like get comfortable for this video. Because it's 2020, right? We in all type we going through nigga, we going through hell. It's people without power. It's all type of shit going on. Food short. Nigga. Babies game, it's so much stuff going on, right? And y'all know where I be at, right? Right here. 
It's 2020. And the nigga DDG is dissing me. I can't make this up. Now listen to me. I'm gonna make, bro, I'm about to steal your energy, my nigga. Never, bro. Do you know what I do? My nigga! DDG, you might have all this material shit, but you broke spiritually, my nigga. That's stuff! Bro, do you know what I'm about to do to you? It wasn't even that serious. And by the way, for all the chosen ones, bro, this. Let me be me. You know, I just want to have fun. No bot shit. I just want to have fun. Okay? Now, for some of y'all that don't know, story time, before we listen to this. Story time. Last year, last September, my ex came on Twitter telling the world, nigga, she was going to kill herself because of me. Swear to God. I don't even, I'm, I'm going to just get straight to the point. It's crazy. That's what was living with me. No, 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 nigga, live her life. Nigga, it's the end of the world. I'm letting it out. The bitch is crazy. Bitch came on Twitter telling everybody that. What you doing? She ain't never tear. She ain't never hear from me again. The bitch is I can help everybody. You can't help her. She came on Twitter telling the world that. What did I do? And it was y'all. It wasn't me. It was y'all was eating her ass up all online, all on her OnlyFans and all that extra shit. It wasn't me. Like, I'm on here. Guys, what? Guys, what? In the building. Man, there's, something, there's something in my Fiji because this shit got me. Something about water. So, she went on Twitter. This was last September. She went on Twitter. She did that. She made that tweet. Right? Y'all probably didn't hear about this because I was on my second channel. But y'all didn't hear nothing about this probably. A couple days after that, literally two days later. I'm on Twitch with y'all, just chilling. It was a pop-up stream. And I was reacting to videos. And y'all sent me a video of DDG. It was him with Kennedy, y'all remember? And I straight up said, the nigga make music for niggas that wear open toe sandals with no socks. He make music for, for, for he make music for niggas who moms as Karen's. Like, bro, no matter how much music DDG make, your shit is actually lit, bro. No heat and shit. I just heard your new shit. Blueface fucked it all up. He's worse than flight. He's worse than flight. He fucked the whole song up. This shit was lit, my nigga. Even what you said about me. I'm a man enough to tell you that shit was lit. Ain't no nigga gonna tell you all you lit. Bro, I actually think you got way better compared to last year. Because last year, it was hard to look at, not look at you as this YouTube nigga that posts scripted blogs and fake pranks. It was hard last year. This year, you starting to clear that up. You starting to... Elevate, but you still broke spiritually, my nigga. You have no idea what's going on in the, in the world. You a distraction. And you diss at me? Do you know what I do? Ask the... What? A couple days later, I said... DDG, when I said that, this was a couple days after that situation happened when my ex went on Twitter, right? Pay attention. I, she said that on Twitter a couple days later. I said this about DDG. Not even two to three days later, DDG flew my ex out, I guess, to California. It was strictly to get at me. It was the whole thing was to get at me. Obviously, my nigga, they're bots. Obviously, nothing a bot can do can get to me. I'm not even mad in this video. This nigga Blueface just popped up saying that's tough. And then I, I it hit. I'm like, hold on. Did this nigga just diss me? Then I looked at the description. That shit said DDG. Not to mention, they said you did. You dropped this shit like, what, a week ago? Or so? Like, a two, uh, you been dropped this on like two, three weeks ago? I had no clue, bro. You know why, nigga. I'm not on here. Right? So, look. Literally, like two, three days later, he flew her out. They collabing and shit. And everybody just dropping this, thinking it was making me mad or something. Or, I guess. Everybody talking about it. Everybody talking about it. They all making vids. They all talking about it. Right? The whole time, I'm happy that he keeping this bitch alive. Dead ass. Nigga, I'm worried that she might happen to her. I was happy as fuck. She, he saved her. Because she didn't want to be saved. I was saying, what? She didn't want to be saved. You got
gotta understand. See, that belonged to me. I dropped a video in March, or I think it was early April, on this channel. The video was titled, My Ex Tried to Steal My Energy. It been, been gone since then. She was for the streets. Not me. She didn't belong to me. She was for online. Only fans, everything. Remember, y'all gotta understand, ladies. Let me say this real quick. Let me say this real quick. For my ladies and for, the, for my niggas that's watching this video. Before I get to what happened. Before we get to this video. Ladies, I don't care. You don't need no fat ass. You don't need no fat titty. You don't need none of that extra shit to fuck with me. I fuck with you for your energy, how you think, and how you carry yourself. Because that's going to better me. Now, if I'm fucking with a thot, all she want is my money, and she want me to spoil her. What you doing for me other than draining my dick? Bitch, all y'all pussy feel the same. If you ain't got no energy, that's tough. All that pussy feel the same if you ain't got no energy. My nigga, stop lying to yourself. If you close your eyes and just go and all that shit gonna feel this, it's gonna, you gonna think you fucking the same me. It's all loose. All these fucking energy girls is getting shared. My nigga, y'all need to think. These is Jezebels. These are succubus Jezebels, my nigga. They're demons. That spiritual soul in me. But listen to me. Too woke for this internet shit. Let me keep it down, son. So look. Nigga, y'all gotta start off all my niggas. Not the chosen ones, because y'all already know this. I ain't And a lot of y'all on my second channel, woke as fuck, know everything that's going on. You're not distracted by rappers and all this bullshit. Takashi 6 9 and, bro, Takashi 6 9 is a puppet. Why did you focus on a nigga that's... Nigga, the ones that's a threat is the ones like me and the rappers that's speaking up. Not no fucking rapper that ain't talking about absolutely nothing. He's pointless. Nigga, probably a cop or something. Look at him for what he is. But y'all be all paying attention to him. There's more serious shit going on. But look, take care of yourself, my nigga. Find you a girl like all the niggas, LeBron, Steph Curry. They girl was with them before they even had shit. So why you fucking with bitches, females that only, if you got to spend so much on a female, you don't need her. Real shit, take your power back. Fuck these hoes, my nigga. Because they can't survive without attention. They die. They need your energy. You all on their OnlyFans. They don't, they using y'all. They don't care about y'all. And these is the type of bitches that this nigga fuck with. We totally different. Me and him is nothing alike. What do we have against me? We gonna get there. Right? Bro, find you. When you start taking care of yourself, stop focusing. If you pay close attention, all the girls that I used to chase is, they there now. Because I take care of myself. It's like a gravitational, my nigga. When you start taking care of yourself and focus on you, the girls that, that's taking care of yourself, gonna be, you, they're going to be coming to you. But when you not taking care of yourself, you're going to look at every girl that's considered bad. You're going to look at her like she's something because you ain't doing shit for yourself. You come first. Fuck these hoes. Right? Now, let's fast forward all the way to 2020. After he was doing all them videos, he flew her out. Flew her out, all type of shit. After he was doing all them videos... I gotta play clip by clip. I gotta play like. I gotta play it for like a quick. Because this nigga's known. He's a. I know you still. You always been known to be money hungry. I heard you had an OnlyFans, bro. What the fuck? And they said you was on there to teach your, your, your fans how to get subscribers or something. Or how. What do, what do you be. What do, bro, do you. Is, are you soulless? Why you care so much about money and so. Like, what is wrong with you? So, here we go. If we beef, I fuck your bitch. All of the niggas I beef on the internet. I hit up all of they bitches and get on wet call them. You ready? All of the niggas I beef with on the internet. I hit up they bitches and call them and get them wet. Girl, Uber, I hit them and send them back. Doing it in silence. Cause players ain't into that. No. Oh. Listen to this. I want y'all to listen. Because I'm not replaying this, this, this shit. I'm not replaying it. Because that nigga, he's a striker. That nigga will try to get paid for everything. 20 plus ads. I know he's still like that. Ain't he? He still be spamming ads and shit. Let's see. But y'all see this blue face. It ain't even about blue face. I just 
her blue face say, that's tough. The whole shit gra caught my attention. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Then I looked at who was rapping and it was me. I'm like, wait, that's about me. It was just like that, bro. <laughs> I swear to God. Look, hold on. But look, listen. I had this bitch on the low, oh. She says your dick ain't was so, so. And she had told me you broke, oh. That's tough. Hey, come on. That's how you want. What? Oh, I, oh, you swinging. I ain't throwing it. He's throwing him. I've been gone for a minute. Okay. 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 So listen. Okay. I'm giving you gazer, gazer. I'm about to steal your energy, my nigga. You about to be pissed for a long time. So listen to me. It's 2020. Y'all heard what he said. Go listen to it. Y'all heard what he said. I heard your dick ain't what's up. She said your dick ain't what's up. So, and she said you was broke, broke. That's tough. He said I hit up all of it and get it wet. Then I, I fly him out, call him an Uber and get him wet. He, that shit cool too, my nigga, bro. You have to go though. Say goodbye. Murder soul in the building. I, I see you for what you are. Right. So, this DDG, this is the image you created online, right? You know what? I, I, you know, spiritual soul is who I am in real life, my nigga. Look what I'm wearing. Look at me. This is me, my nigga. No, DDG. You know why you hate me so bad? Why even in 2020, you still throwing sh I ain't said nothing about you. You know why you hate me so bad? Because I got something that you can never, ever have. You know what that is? A real fucking fan base, bro. You got to buy all the jewelry in the fucking world to keep your image going as this rapper. If you stop... Your fans going to say you fell off like every other rapper. Nothing you do matters. So you sit back and you look at me. How do this nigga get out there and look and stare at the sun and get more real love than me? On his second channel, how do he do it? He not even on his main, his, his most powerful channel. He on his second channel. Right? You looking and observe, you see everything I'm doing. Why you still throwing shots at me? You would not hit my mind in no fucking studio, bro. I ain't said nothing about you since last September, nigga. I'm in a spiritual war, my nigga. I'm lowering my vibration to talk to you. Bye! DDG. You been free because I've been gone. You know that? Every time I come on the internet... And there's something to do with me and you, you get, what happened? Bro, listen, you're a puppet rapper. Yo, the number one artist came out telling y'all, it's some shit I'm afraid I can't say. I, I, I'm afraid I admit it, it's some people who can. Y'all know what I'm talking about, Lil Baby and his Black Lives Matter song. He told all y'all he afraid he can't say nothing. They can't even speak, you a fucking puppet. Nigga, don't ever speak on me, my nigga. You making an OnlyFans account? OnlyFans to get more money? My nigga, the perfect person to sell their soul is the nigga that worship money. That worship material shit. You got all your fans thinking they need to buy all this stuff to be like you? Why the fuck is the billionaires... Why do rappers look more richer than billionaires? Why do billionaires... The nigga shop at Walmart? Because it's a trap. You ain't gotta look like this nigga. It's a fucking hater. You hating on me, folk. Nigga, I don't wear none of that shit. No, I ain't even got my earrings on. I normally wear some earrings, and I got jewelry. Cars, all the shit. But they fuck with me for me, and you hate that. Loki, you hate it. You flew her out last year. You thought that was going to get to me. Nigga, I'm going to die. Nigga, die. It's levels to this. I told you at a low frequency, man. I'm talking to your soul. You would never have nothing because you broke spiritually. You got to keep buying material shit that don't make you happy. Look at your favorite rapper, NBA Youngboy. This is permanent face. Why none of them happy? Lil Uzi. 
You might see little clips of little Uzi having fun, but his normal... F he can't drop music when he want nothing. Right? They are puppets. They are control. Y'all have no power. And I'm free. And people fuck with me for me. You hate that. If you stop... Bro, listen, I told you. I think you a lit-ass YouTuber, too. No hate. Good at... I, I mean, it's entertainment. I think people should watch you. You, you a black nigga doing your thing. Nigga, I love that shit. On a spiritual level, nigga, I got nothing but respect. I'm not dissing you. You diss me. You make good music. You, good, you, keep, you keep the videos going even though they entertainment. You keep them going, right? Even though you're a distraction on a, on a, on a my level. But you keep it... You, you, you perfectly fine, Right? But if you was to take breaks like I do for my man channel, what would happen to you? You scared. You would fall off. You know it. If you stop buying all this material shit and stop making your fans think they got to buy that and they got to go out their way, they need to reach a certain level to be like you and they don't. Y'all ain't got to do none of that shit. You could be whatever you want. These rappers is fucking fronts. Like I was just looking at Blueface with all this fucking jewelry on. That nigga Blueface had on. Listen, I'm using you for example, my nigga. Listen. Blueface had on all that jury. Hold on, where is it? If we beef, I fuck. Not this one. Where that nigga picture at? He had on. He the perfect example because Blueface known for wearing helly chains. Look how many chains Blueface got on. Bro, what's gonna happen to this? Let me get you up because I ain't even talk about Blueface in general. All rappers do this shit. Remember I told you the rappers look more richer than the billionaires. The billionaires walking around with, with hillies. These niggas don't even dress. It's a trap to make everybody think they need that shit. To buy that shit. They the puppets. This nigga's a DDG. You are a puppet, my nigga. Because you, I know you signed. Why you, you? I know you ain't going to tell your fans what happened when you signed. I know you ain't going to speak on the real shit like Tory Lanez tried to do. Don't never talk about me, bro. Ever. And I'm being nice. I'm not even trying to, oh, you want a nigga, you broke spiritually, so you don't know nothing. But what I'm trying to say is, listen. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. To make a long story short, because I'm all over the place right now. To make a long story short, this nigga, you must be mad because you would never have something that I have. I have something that's built organically. They fuck with me for me. You got to fly females out, paying for a bitch. That nigga, Ruby Rose, they never been the, she's one of those. Then she get exposed by little TJ. She was having more swings. And you fucking with her laying off. Nigga, she's a thot. My nigga, they making you look very stupid, sap ass nigga. Nothing to like, nigga. Alpha. Simp. You looking at an alpha, my nigga. Take care of myself. Guys, guys. Love myself in the building. If you love yourself, you won't be having to buy all this material shit that can't make you happy. It's impossible. But you're going to reach 2 million, then 3 million, then 4 million, then 5 million, then 6 million. So when is it going to be enough? You broke spiritually. You can't see like you a pop pot. So I use you for example, my nigga. Simple. Anyway, I wanted to play NBA 2K. That shit trash. I'm about to hop, I, I might hop on Twitch so I get y'all. I just want to chill. I just want to have fun. I still, gotta, I still got shit to do. Um, I'm a little, hope y'all been taking care of yourself, man. I want y'all to know this, to make this, this, this shit, to wrap this video up, if you watching this video, you could do everything you see me doing to anybody else, bro. No, all, all jokes aside, cause I know a lot of niggas take me funny and as a joke, but I'm trying my hardest to change and help people. I'm not trying to, I don't have like, no disrespect to nobody that's out here buying jewelry and shit, but if you look at it on a spiritual level, you are hypnotizing your fans. That's why I preach to them. They don't, they don't need to look up to me or nobody. The more you look up to these niggas, the more you're going to feel like you're not doing shit. You see niggas like DDG constantly throwing all their money and bragging in your face and showing off their life. It's going to make you feel like you ain't doing good in life because you're not up there with them, bro. It's a trap. You don't need no friends. You don't need none of that shit. You don't need to, to be, bro, let the rappers be rappers. Let 6 9 do what he do. They distractions, bro. You could be anything you want. You could be bigger than DDG. He would never. Bro, that nigga do not want nobody. He's still hating on a spiritual nigga. You hating on a spiritual nigga? That's tough. Anyway, DDG, you all, you all broke spiritually. Don't ever, you had a low vibration. You a bot.
take care of yourself, man. Kaiser! Kaiser! Make sure you like, share, and subscribe if you're new. I forgot my ending. Hey, send me some lit reactions on Twitter, y'all. So we could go crazy. And I'm out, bruh.